Bravo. Can you hear me? Nice. Eleven Gregorian. Game one? Game one? Yeah, I'm good. Eleven taking it. The Byleth. Didn't really get to see that one, but... Eleven started off with a great combo. 76 damage. He's looking like we fit with his damage output right now. That's crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, and Greg just can't seem to find a footing. Here's something. And since he's not really in the exact right position to get that down throw, he's not going to get the big damage with uh, deep breathing. Oh my god. Wow. Eleven with a very strong start. It's going to be tough to make this back. We fit. 
She's really good if she can make you kind of come to her and get in her face, but with a sword like this, I don't know. Oh, man. That landing there, and yeah, just a really long advantage to hear from even the final hit of Nair. <laughs> Returning to ledge, and yeah, Gregorian a little too afraid to go for deep breathing there. He's got to get something going here soon. Oh, man. Having trouble getting out of the corner. There is one. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, nothing yet. He's just fishing a little hard for a grab here. Okay, that we fit roll coming in clutch. This is a good combo. Soccer ball, holding down the advantage, but he needs to somehow avoid getting hit by landing Nair here. Or just Nair in general. So most of 11's combo starters are coming from that. 11 not needing to commit to the upper there, just content to kind of fish from below with safe pressure. That's not going to do it. Oh, wow, just barely. Questionable. GI there, <laughs> ducking under the arrow. Now this is a good position for Gregorian relatively. If he can get something started, but no. Eleven may have known that he was going to try to cover his landing with uh, that neutral B, and the dash attack is going right through it. This, is, oh man, Gregorian flubbing there. Could have gotten something much bigger. One, two, three? No? Okay. <laughs> that Bilef there, oppressive. All right, Gregor yeah, Gregorian needs to find a place here, a chance where he can actually get deep breathing. Uh, and I guess he's basically going to have to yeah, land a hit. There we go. <laughs> the quick, like, one frame duck under. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's looking for it there. Looking for those confirms. Hello. Hey. Hi, Ducks. Hello. Sorry I'm late. Joined by Ducks, the GOATs. <laughs> so we got 11 and Gregorian, right? Yeah, the game one went pretty uh, favorably to 11, and he's looking pretty good this game as well. Gregorian has been struggling to like really find openings and even get something started. Wow. That's going to do it with enough rage. Yeah, I mean, Violet, I mean, when you are able to find those confirms, is just absolutely lethal. Yeah, Gregorian couldn't really get around Nair and just kind of wasn't able to like escape and get deep breathing. And, and even when he did, just traded with Nair every time and yep. he wasn't able to get his combos started. So. Yeah, I think part of it is also just understanding that, you know, deep breathing is just something that you have to take care of on so many fronts. You have to look at how the Wii, the Wii Fit trainer is trying to use it to set up ledge traps or set up other options in terms of yeah. their gameplay. Yeah, Gregorian's use of it is really interesting. It's different from Chunky's. I'm, I'm good. Like the way that Chunky uses deep breathing, he will pretty much like only go for it like if he gets if he hits you off. Like then he'll just mm -hmm. go for it when it's confirmed. Gregorian kind of uses it as like a bait, um, which is like definitely riskier. Like he'll just kind of go for it, like when he's under the platform and force you to approach to 